memory and uh, the tube the, were the, the main, the main uh, building blocks, electronic blocks for executing uh, instruction such uh, you know, typically instruction. This is uh, so uh, uh, power consuming that uh, they have uh, something like a chemin for, for the uh, blowing out heat. So the, the, it was uh, the electricity consuming <laughs> power. Due to his great experience in building this computer, it was uh, built uh, uh, for that period, uh, a very brand new computing center using IBM computers. This is the 65. And this institute that originally was also my institute was uh, uh, equipped with uh, great computers for that time. The, the, the main line of IBM computer was the 37 computers. That was a, a very strong computer for that period. But uh, it was typical for that period to have a center of computation. Uh, this is typical uh, center of that here, so where um, the, uh, and this is the the tau due, the ter terminal tau due uh, that I I'm going to explain what what uh, this the, the the main reason, the machine for producing music. Uh, by the way, the, that's me <laughs> when I was back photographed when. Uh, in my, my very youth. And uh, this is the group with Maestro Grossi. This is uh, uh, Graziano Bertini and Chimenti, who physically built the, the, this apparatus under the direction of uh, the, the researcher of that time. And that's me in 78 and another colleagues, very young students, uh, we were. <laughs> and uh, this is, was a, a very, very, um, spare technology, uh, Maestro Rossi, uh, coming from an experience of uh, electronic music, uh, he uh, wanted to, to hear music uh, just like a, a normal synthesizer. But uh, as I am going to explain now, that uh, it was impossible to get uh, music from computer of that time. And uh, this is what his, his motto. I want to listen music just after pressing return key. At the time, the mouse was not yet uh, invented. And so his philosophy uh, involved the transcription, uh, transcription of scored music, I have my attention, self-generating algorithm music and remote music. This is the three topics that I'm going to, to, to tell you about. And so a library of music, uh, Scarlett, Paganini, Stravinsky, Endelbach, Scott Joplin, many, many, many different uh, authors of the, the, of the tradition was uh, coded and then, uh, and then uh, uh, executed. But uh, this is digital versus analog in the sense of going back in the, in the years, but going back in the history. We are now use it to, to use digital electronics, the, the digital approach in making music. But uh, the, the only way to follow at that time was analog. analog. You know what this means. Uh, I have not to explain to you <laughs> what the, this means. But uh, if we go back uh, to the 60s and 70s years, uh, we have to realize that the power of computer was very, very, very low in respect to also with a small laptop. You have to think that the typical characteristics of that period was uh, one to five megahertz of clock, RAM memory up to one megabyte, the big large computer, and the mass storage of not more than 20, 60 megabytes of uh, the, the big reels of tapes was the typical uh, power uh, you have uh, using big computer was this. But uh, I don't know if you know that uh, the digital technology was born not uh, in the audio 
in the audio field, but in the telephony. And it's inter interesting to, to have a, a short, uh, have a look, a rapid look uh, in what happened during the 50s and the 60s, because the crucial uh, charter, the uh, man in this field for what interest uh, in co computer music comes from telephony. You know that uh, for a small, t small town, the, the, for making contact people, was the, the patch board uh, managed by girls that was plugging in, uh, please contact, put in contact with the other person, blah, blah, blah. You have seen in many, many films, it is something like that. But when the, the, uh, the network or telephone uh, was more and more growing up, uh, the, what, what is called the automatic selection was uh, built using elect electromechanic devices. But uh, uh, when the population of telephone was growing uh, up to millions, uh, also the electronic uh, me mechanics was not more feasible or usable. So how computer address memory was a, a good suggestion for, for making a selection of uh, many, many different uh, uh, user of uh, telephone. So it was uh, mandatory that uh, a conversion from analog to digital, because uh, it is easy to understand how to uh, select uh, a memory cell in the computer. But uh, then uh, you have uh, to send uh, a transformation of analog signal in, to digital. Who was uh, um, uh, uh, busy in that moment uh, at Bell Telephone in the US was Max Matthews, a young engineer who had the, the task of uh, uh, put a solution to making uh, analog telephone to digital telephone. But just because he was also a musician, <laughs> he was thinking, why not to use a computer to synthesize music? So in this well-known chain, we dropped the, the first part and using a computer like a synthesizer. And for the first time during the, the 60s years, Max Matthews brought a, a program, a, a, a series of programs called Music 1, Music 2, Music 4, up to Music 5, uh, having in mind that uh, uh, building an, uh, um, a software uh, synthesizer had uh, a number of uh, advantages. I have uh, illustrated here. And this, uh, uh, but uh, in that moment, uh, just because, uh, just because uh, having a signal of relevance means to have uh, at least uh, three. 32 kilohertz of uh, uh, sampling rate, and just because the power of that moment was around about one mega, me megahertz of clock, for computing a sample after the, the previous sample was emitted by digital to analog converter, you have only 32 microseconds, and this was not, not enough for synthesize a, a signal of uh, musical meaning just to justify the uh, su substitution of an analog synthesizer to a computer synthesizer. So it was uh, uh, chosen uh, the strategy of no real-time music. The, the no real-time music was the offline music and uh, the, 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 the software he developed, uh, just I mentioned it before, it was uh, Music 1, Music 2, up to Music 5, used uh, the mass storage of that moment, typically tapes, for accumulating uh, sample um, computed by the program, uh, by your composition in some way. This is well described. This is a classical uh, book uh, where many uh,
people uh, during the 60s and the 70s studied the computer music. You, you, you can download it from, from, uh, from, uh, from the web. It is free now. And in this uh, uh, book, uh, Max Matthews explained that this is, I think, this is the, the, the central philosophy of working of that uh, uh, the Music 5 program. Uh, numbers stored in the computer memory are successively transferred <laughs> to a digital converter, digital to analog converter. But the, the key word is successively, <laughs> because uh, each sample was uh, stored on the re tape, re real tape, and then rewinded, and the, the tape was read digitally speaking and converted in audio signal. But uh, no real-time music. Uh, this is a, a, a typical music file composition, and you can recognize that uh, C sound. I think you know C sound, what it is. It comes from music file. You can recognize that the, the logic, the, the typical configuration of, of uh, C sound uh, composition is the orchestra and the score parts, where the, the, um, the instrument is defined uh, using uh, lines that describe oscillator, envelopes, uh, shaper, filter, noise generator, and, and so on. And this is, what, this is the typical page on the, that book that describes an instrument uh, graphically and then uh, textually. Have you used the C sound, I suppose, no? Uh, so you know what we are speaking about. Uh, the, uh, Music 5 was developed in Fortran language. Fortran language is uh, the correspondent of C language of our days. In that moment, uh, the, the Fortran language was the, the, the only scientific uh, uh, programming language of the moment, of that moment, because uh, it was very simple, <coughs> in, but very, very powerful in describing uh, the, uh, the typical uh, operation of, of programming. So, but uh, once again, we have to to have a look of the, the, the characteristic of the magnetic tapes of, of that moment, uh, you have to think that uh, magnetic tape uh, it is a very, very sophisticated machine in, in that moment. And uh, it was very rapid uh, in rewinding, in uh, stopping, uh, uh, searching a, a, a particular uh, section of the, of the tape. But it is the the typical characteristic. So, so uh, in a in a tape like that, it was a real uh, of that, that dimension. About uh, no more than from five, four to twelve minutes of music were possible to store to com to store as a result of the computation. In any case, 12 minutes uh, with the, the up to the, the density of uh, 6,000 bytes per inch. So the question was, how long to wait? Because you brought the program, no? The music file, pro, uh, white music file composition, the same to say now, C sound composition, how to wait? It depends at that time. It depends from the number of instruments you have defined in your composition, the complexity of, of each instrument, and the length of the score that the composition. So in, in uh, short cases, have a coffee break, and then come back. <laughs> but uh, in mo a more complicated, more sophisticated composition, go to lunch and come <laughs> after lunch. And if you have a, a very big composition for Many instruments uh, lasting 10, 50, go to sleep and come tomorrow morning. <laughs> so this is a very big problem. But uh, the fascination of having a, a, a software 
um, synthesized a software system for composing music uh, was uh, very, very fascinating for, for that moment because uh, the advantages, you know, if you're, you are using a, a synthesizer, a classical MOOC synthesizer, very, very difficult when you have put, put on, uh, set, set up a patch to reproduce the exact uh, uh, combination of uh, plugins and uh, the, 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 the knobs that define the frequency, the, the, the filter, uh, cutoff frequency, and so on. It is very, very difficult to reproduce uh, the same situation you have produced one day or one week or one month before. So to have a program that when you have set up the, the different uh, parameters, you have tomorrow the computers give you the same result as yesterday. So it was very fascinating to also to have uh, many, many different of the synthesis algorithm because uh, after uh, we, with the experience of Max Matthews, uh, the, the very uh, novelty was to uh, uh, the possibility to have the possibility to experiment a new way of uh, 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 producing uh, um, timbres, timber, different timbres, because uh, with analog synthesizer, you know that uh, no more the square waves and the filtering, noise in filtering. Uh, you have nothing more. So with the Music 5, uh, a new season was started. The, the, the season of searching new way of producing uh, uh, new timbres. The FM, well-known FM by Chowning, the first experiment was built, was made using Music 5 program. You know that uh, there is a, 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 a um, Mr. Chowning was a very young musician that period. Uh, or, uh, I don't know if you know the, 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 the short uh, story between Max Matthews. Uh, because the Chowning is, I am, maybe I have invented a new way of producing sounds with computer. Uh, Max Matthews is, uh, oh good, patent it. At once, patent it. Why? Patent it. <laughs> And you know that uh, using the, the, the uh, after, uh, after having patent uh, uh, FM synthesis, the Yamaha purchased the license for building the first synthesizer, the DX7 synthesizer. During. And they purchased the license, uh, if I remember well, for about one, one or two billion no, million dollars. For, and uh, using that, uh, that money that uh, uh, John Chowning uh, built the, 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 the mythical Knoll, the mythical uh, Karma Institute uh, in Stanford. So patented. <laughs> and the first experiment was uh, uh, made using uh, offline synthesis. Uh, very, I don't know if you know the, 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 this news about. And, uh, uh, in the film uh, to, uh, Space Odyssey, the, the, main, the crucial uh, uh, sequence in the film when the HAL, the computer, lost memory. Have you seen the, that film? Was, uh, the, the, the music was uh, produced using Music 5 program by, by Max Matthews. But, and this is the equip of young people that you have, I think you have no mentioned many times. So coming back in Italy, Maestro Rossi, now we, uh, knowing all that, all those experience, all those experience uh, having in mind to, to have a system for producing music in real time, because it was interested much more than, in, not in timbre, but as we will see very soon, in, uh, in music in the sense of uh, notes, uh, composition of notes or of uh, events. Uh, so also he, have, he had a great experience with electronic music, but uh, 
just coming back uh, in the in the in the the, uh, the the two town his town and the, my town in Pisa uh, in respect to the Max Matthews approach uh, where the sound processing was the main the fo main uh, uh, topic of focus in which uh, was focused the experience uh, Grossi focused his attention on event processing no no what is the timbre doesn't matter. I want to process music in the sense of the a traditional composer who was composing music, uh, putting the notes on the stuff. So, due to the, the power of uh, the computer at that moment, he had, uh, wanted to, to, to choose the real-time approach. And so, uh, he uh, developed, using th that language I was uh, mentioned before, Fortran language, he developed the, a, a program, call it like that, Digital Computer Music Program, where the three basic uh, uh, feature was uh, the transcription of scored music uh, with simple transcription, frequency, and duration, frequency, and duration, frequency, and duration. And then this is the main, the main part of a manipulation and transformation of the, of the text. And then uh, uh, self-generating algorithms for producing music using uh, many different kinds of approaches like uh, uh, combina combinatorial calculus, uh, uh, Markov chains, uh, and blah, blah, blah. So the main, the main uh, thing was a manipulation of, uh, of uh, sequence of couples of information, frequency and duration, frequency and duration, no, no more than that. And uh, so from an original to have, uh, for example, a backward uh, 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 execution, inversion uh, in some way, and and uh, modifying many different ways the, 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 the array where the, the notes were coded, uh, stretching, shrinking, and, and completed in different ways. Or, or to uh, write down a program that uh, uh, with a, uh, uh, obeying to a, a, a create command uh, with many different parameters, it was possible to uh, to generating uh, uh, um, blocks of, uh, of information with uh, uh, random uh, between some limitation uh, a, a range uh, where to limit. Uh, this is a typical. This is a, a part of the original. Uh, program that uh, performed this. Uh, this is the original written by by Maestro Grossi in that moment, using the. And this is the typical. It was the typical uh, commands uh, with uh, using which uh, uh, to have transformation in different ways. Uh, uh, a coded uh, score. So the first approach during the, the, the end of 60, first years of 70, was to use a single voice with a square wave in real time this time, using, think about, using the bit zero of a register of a big computer that was <laughs> of the cost of uh, one billion dollars at that time, only a, a bit uh, uh, switching from 0, 1, and uh, computing the, the, the time be between one switch to the other. This was the main uh, routine for producing music. And then with uh, the delay in a, in a cycle, you can get a different, uh, just like in the, in, the, in the gadget of Christmas, when something like that. A big computer, one million dollars of that time. In any case, 
using a very, very sophisticated program, he uh, also produced this uh, disc of, uh, it was uh, the end of 60 or no, or 71, 72, I don't remember. And it is the sound of a computer, and you can, uh, this is a two minutes now uh, example, where you uh, get, uh, you can realize how the transformation of music uh, by the program. Uh, the, um, the, the results of this experience was uh, well welcome in the institute. Also, it made many uh, interview in the specialized uh, the magazine. Also, uh, transmission at radio and television. It was a, a very big success for that. Uh, but uh, the uh, the, 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 uh, the single voice squared wave was not enough for, for producing a, a, a significant uh, mu electronic music. So it was decided by the Institute to build uh, an audio terminal. This is uh, for reaching polyphony and uh, for reaching real time music uh, for that moment uh, a novelty, as we have seen. Uh, what is what, what is towards towards audio terminal uh, terminal and time sharing is a very obsolete uh, words uh, terminology. Uh, terminal because uh, you have to think that in that moment uh, the computers uh, typical was uh, mm, the name was a mainframe computer uh, using channels of communication. It was possible to the access to the computer was uh, using terminals, teletype writer, or every, everything was a terminal. Everything was uh, uh, connected to the main computer: disk tapes, printers, card readers, terminals. In, in the sense of uh, uh, the the big mother and the uh, the many children. <laughs> to link it to the mother. So also a, a, a special um, device for producing music was a terminal. Time sharing means that uh, the time, uh, the, the CPU times of the computer were shared with the different user. But uh, for example, once one cent of second to you, one second to you, one second to you. But if you think that when you are typing, maybe that you uh, for typing a line, so you you last uh, half a minute, uh, one minute. So in that moment, the computer, you think that you you are linked to, to the computer, but the computer is not linked to you. It is working for other people. So it is much more the time when during which 
it is not connected, but you think that you are connected. So it was possible that in that moment uh, that uh, up to 100, 200 people was connecting, working with a, a, a phantomatic computer uh, because uh, it was uh, much more the time in which uh, the computer was not busy for you but for the others. It was uh, called the time sharing approach of the computer because uh, the cost of the computer was very, very high. So, having a special uh, device that uh, produces sound uh, while many other uh, uh, user are using that computer was reached uh, 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 linking this device uh, through um, special channels and to have uh, having a, 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 to part the digital control for communication with the computer and uh, the synthesizer itself that in that moment was an analog synthesizer. The characteristic of the, that synthesizer is now, uh, uh, unfortunately for the moment, it was uh, abandoned uh, in, a, in, a, in a store, but we are, we are searching now to recover for putting in a museum because it's a, a very important uh, piece uh, of technology where many, many people uh, worked in that moment. This is the digital part, and this is the, the analog part for synthesizing. This is the, you, this is the power suppliers, because they're very power consuming that that moment. But the John Alter, oh. uh, the, these parts are the, the, the oscillators. For and this part is for controlling the different kinds of oscillators. Basically, is an additive synthesis, nothing else than an additive synthesis. This is the pa control panel, and this is uh, how it was uh, installed in the in the in, in a part of the institute where it was used. Well, we are used to to go for new for music. Uh, we had to. The main characteristic is that the Tau 2, eh? Tau 2, Tau 2 because it was an experiment before, a Tau 1, not linked with the computer, but a standalone synthesizer. Uh, the, main, uh, the, the, the main structure is an hybrid, an hybrid uh, device, analog synthesis and digital in control. It has 256 analog oscillator with a, a, a resolution, the, the, the distance between well, one third of semitone, so one sixth of tempered scale tone. The range was from 32 to up to 4,000 4, hertz, but there was an extension also mm, too much complicated to describe. In any case, the main thing is the is oscillator, it was possible to control with eight different uh, levels from zero to seven. So for each uh, oscillator, it was possible to simulate uh, an envelope. And in some way, it was uh, enough uh, uh, sophisticated for producing a, a real additive synthesis. Uh, um, controlling the, the, the envelope shape of, of each oscillator. So it was possible to define an instrument, classically uh, using a terminology, instru uh, using a C sound terminology, an instrument, but only and only with uh, additive synthesis. And it was possible to group. Uh, a configuration of uh, oscillator to define an instrument, and 12, at the same time, 12 instruments. So, but the, the array of 25, uh, 256 oscillator was uh, defined for, every, for, for the, the whole 12 voices. So it was possible also that some oscillator of 
uh, overlaps with the other, but it was not the, the problem, the great problem. Ah, the update time was one cent of seconds for the configuration, so it was uh, the the envelope shaper was uh, working enough uh, enough well. So from the original digital computer music program that uh, worked with a single voice of the square wave or the, the, the big computer, the Taumus uh, program was developed with the same philosophy, but now using uh, uh, timbre control and uh, polyphony. This is the, the, the typical, uh, uh, the typical uh, mm, configuration Oh, from a score, you put uh, notes uh, in, the, in, the, in the computer, and then they are translated in a stream of, uh, uh, of coding uh, frequency duration. And then it was possible to modify and uh, in different ways the, the uh, coded uh, program. Uh, just to have uh, an information, this is a, a Anteliteram MIDI, <laughs> because uh, the, the information from the computer was uh, coded in some way and uh, transmitted to the TAU2, uh, where the different uh, information of each oscillator were, up, uh, were sent to, to the digital part of communication and uh, uh, translated in the real control of the of, of the other array of oscillators. And this, is, uh, this was working uh, with the speed of se se um, 100 times per second. So it was possible to, to have, uh, uh, to have uh, control enough for, for what concerns time. This was some writing of Maestro when he was uh, uh, not noting uh, because he, uh, he was living in Florence, but every morning was <laughs> by train coming in Pisa, one hour of time. And during, during the, 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 the trip, uh, he was uh, putting also <laughs> correcting programs, inventing programs. It's typical, uh, typical. Uh, another, another, another activity was to invent what is uh, telematics music. In some way, he made uh, many, many uh, demo uh, using a very, very big <laughs> uh, uh, implication of people. And uh, uh, you, you are not, you, Serra. <laughs> it's a mountain, call it Serra, <laughs> just behind Pisa. I have not this now. <laughs> this is a very big mountain where the antennas of uh, broadcasting television, but are a very a, a, a complete wood of antennas. And uh, down in Pisa, where the, the Rai was the, come si chiama? Uh, the broadcasting national of Ita Italy. At that moment, only Rai was. Uh, you, uh, existing. So the technician of Rai comes in Pisa with a paraboloid antenna transmitting the, the audio signal from the institute. And then, I don't know how, uh, technician of uh, Rai with a, in another town, for example, Rome, Naples, Milan, captured the, 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 the signal and, and uh, uh, the audio signal was put uh, in the for example, in a building like that, you know, for getting sounds. And uh, using a typical modem of that moment, it was possible to communicate with a central computer. So a very complicated <laughs> approach. But in any case, uh, it, was, uh, the, uh, it, uh, it was working. So it was possible to have uh, demo and concert uh, offline completely. Uh, North line in, uh, in 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 another location that was not Pisa, and it was claiming every every time was doing this uh, 
this demo in the next future music will be transferred on the network <laughs> it was a very visionary uh, idea for that moment uh, just that uh, I, once again, no, I want to listen, and, and now I give a, a very short uh, example uh, of music produced by, by Tao Due, and that uh, this evening the concert uh, were m much longer using the, the, all the disc, uh, that a copy of the disc you have also. That, uh, This is the conclusion. Um, when the computer are growing and growing with uh, power, he retired at home. No, uh, the first uh, the first period uh, he retired. In, uh, come, he came come back uh, at the conservatory using lab computer, but uh, he also started a, a painting activity uh, using. Uh, the, small computer like the Commodore 64 and many other computers, using the same approach he used for composing music and for composing <laughs> drawings. So, for example, uh, algorithmic, uh, algorithmically generated. So, the same program with changing some parameters, uh, producing uh, different uh, drawings, and uh, that's for you, uh, that's for you. <laughs> The same but different. <laughs> That's for you, <laughs> homage from uh, Maestro Grossi. And um, produces many, many different pro kinds of program uh, using basic language. Uh, but uh, and uh, so the, I, I think this is a conclusion for his uh, artistic activity from a musician in the last part as a, a cybernetic painter, something like that. Oh, dunk, uh, once again, the historical photograph, uh, and after that, uh, a new, a new, a new, uh, a new, uh, new arguments uh, was uh, uh, followed in, as a research by myself and the other colleagues that remained in Pisa. This is the basic uh, in '91. This is the the starting of uh, of this new activity. Uh, man machine interaction live performance uh, it, it was a very a very uh, many people from all, all, over, uh, all, all over the world came in this and ma many ideas started and so the new activity of 
producing gesture interface was initiated. But this is another story. <laughs> that uh, uh, this evening in the concert, I shall use uh, two basic uh, uh, gesture recognition interfaces that uh, I and my and other uh, colleagues in the Institute were developed. Uh, basically, very shortly, half a minute, uh, uh, using the infrared beams and real-time image process processing. This is a tablet where the infrared beams uh, can recognize. It's much more complicated now that I shall use this evening. Many beams, uh, it is possible to, to detect the height uh, and the rotation of the ends. And the other one is uh, the possibility of recognizing the uh, the position of the, of the hands in the space uh, and also to have uh, the, the, the dimension of the, um, the, rect the frame. Uh, so it is possible also to have uh, uh, the angulation the, of the hands. So it's possible to give uh, with your uh, spare uh, hands uh, to, to give many information, to, to detect many information. Uh, the webcam of the computer he used, so it's very, also from setting up, the, <laughs> the, it's very, very quick to set it up. The, the program uh, uh, make parts of the, the recognition uh, uh, activity, uh, so the, everything is integrated in the program for, for controlling the synthesized music. Uh, this is the typical situation. Uh, I shall use it this evening. Uh, I think that that's all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much.